Hi, my name is Ryan and in this video let's create this simple header section with a curve at the bottom. Here in my HTML file I have added a header tag and inside this header I have added a h1 tag and a paragraph tag and that's all we need for the HTML. Now let's go to our CSS file. In this video we'll be using a Google font named Norican and I've added the link to the font in the description box below. Here I've removed the default margin and the padding and I've set the font size of the body to 1.5 em. Now let's move ahead. We'll style the head section. We'll give it a height of 80 vh and we'll give it a gradient background which starts with the color F6D365 and ends with FDA085. Next, we'll also vertically and horizontally center the text inside the header. For that, I'll give the header a display of flex and I want the header and the paragraph to be stacked one below the other. So, I'll say flex direction column and now they are one below the other and I also want to center them so I'll say justify content center align items center now let's style the h1 and the paragraph we'll give it a color of white we'll set the width to 80 percent we'll give it a line height of 1.3 em and we'll align the text to the center let me make some space at the bottom now let's give the h1 the font family of norican the font that we have chosen and for the paragraph let's choose a font family of sense serif now in order to give this header a curve at the bottom there's one final thing we need to do we need to use the border radius property so let's go up here and for the header we'll say border radius and instead of using one single value I'll be using four different values one value for each corner of the header so starting with the top left corner I'll set the border radius to 0 then moving to the top right I'll again set it to 0 however for the bottom right corner I'll set the border radius to 60% and finally for the bottom left corner I'll again set it to 60% however we are not done yet there are four more values we need to add so I'll first add them and I'll explain it to you we need to add a forward slash and after the forward slash we need to add four more values with 15 person and I'll add 15 person again so we do know about these values right here before the slash but what about these values well these values before the slash are known as the horizontal border radius values whereas the values after the slash are the vertical border radius values so these these values right here set the border radius at the bottom and at the top which means horizontally and these after the slash set the border radius on the vertical sides on the left and the right so in our case the horizontal border radius is more than the vertical border radius so we have a good amount of border radius at the bottom however there is less of border radius on the left and the right so that is the reason why we get this curve right here at the bottom and that is quite simple using just one single property which is border radius and that is how you do it i think that's it for this video hope you like it i'll see you in the next video till then have a nice day